the interosseous muscle is deep to metacarpal 3 and deep to the deep digital flexor tendon. This is also known as the suspensory ligament. This structure has two distal divisions that will attach on the abaxial surfaces of the proximal sesamoid bones. Extensor branches from each division pass to the dorsal aspect of P1 to insert on the common digital extensor tendon. Here you see metacarpal 3 and the dorsal aspect of metacarpal 3. The lateral splint bone can be palpated on the lateral side. This is also metacarpal 4. The lateral splint bone is just cranial to the suspensory ligament or interosseous muscle on the lateral side. Just caudal to the fetlock or metacarpal phalangeal joint is a ligament that holds the digital flexor tendons in place that is the palmar annular ligament. Notice at this level how the superficial digital flexor tendon has formed a sleeve around the deep digital flexor tendon. And the close proximity to the deep digital flexor tendon of the suspensory ligament or interosseous muscle. And the distal aspect of the splint bone. This is metacarpal 3 the main bone of the metacarpus. Distal to the fetlock, we still find the tendons of the superficial and deep digital flexor tendons. And this is also the area where we will be looking for the distal intersesmoidian ligaments. A passive stay apparatus exists in the horse which distributes the weight of the animal throughout the leg avoiding collapse of the limb. As we look at the left leg of the horse, distal is to the right, proximal to the left, cranial to the bottom, and caudal to the top of the screen. The long head of the triceps is a portion of the stay apparatus as it originates from the caudal border of the scapula to insert on the olecranon. The lateral head of the triceps originates from the lateral side of the humerus and inserts on the olecranon. The biceps originates from the supraglenoid tubercle and is extended by way of the Lacertus fibrosis to the extensor carpi radialis. the extensor carpi radialis inserts on the metacarpal tuberosity. The superficial digital flexor tendon is a caudal component of the passive stay apparatus. This tendon splits and inserts on P1. The proximal check ligament is a major portion of the passive stay apparatus that is associated with the superficial digital flexor tendon. The deep digital flexor tendon has the distal check ligament associated with it and the deep digital flexor tendon inserts 
on the polymer surface of P3. The suspensory ligament inserts on the medial and lateral proximal sesamoid bones, but gives off extensor branches to the common digital extensor tendon. These structures distribute the force to avoid collapse of the fetlock and digit. The extensor carpi radialis distributes the forces over the cranial aspect of the carpus. and extends from the Lacertus fibrosis, which was associated with the biceps brachii. The extensor carpi obliquus tendon crosses the extensor carpi radialis muscle in the distal aspect of the metacarpus. The common digital extensor tendon runs through the extensor retinaculum. Over the dorsal aspect of the metacarpus, dorsal to the fetlock, to eventually insert on the extensor process of P3. The suspensory ligament gives off extensor branches, here seen on the medial aspect of the fetlock, to insert on the common digital extensor tendon, on the dorsal aspect of P1. The superficial and deep digital flexor tendons both pass through the carpal canal. The deep digital flexor tendon has the associated distal check ligament. Here we have the superficial digital flexor tendon and the deep digital flexor tendon. Deep to the carpal canal and caudal to the carpal bones is the palmar carpal ligament. The superficial digital flexor tendon forms a sleeve over the deep digital flexor tendon at the level of the fetlock and bifurcates to insert on the second phalanx. The deep digital flexor tendon passes deep in the level of the metacarpus to the superficial digital flexor tendon, runs over the fetlock, and will eventually insert on the palmar aspect of P3. The palmar annular ligament covers the flexor tendons at the level of the fetlock. Here we have the superficial digital flexor tendon as it bifurcates at the level of P1 to insert lateral and medial on P2 to the deep digital flexor tendon. At this area, we would find the distal digital annular ligament covering the deep digital flexor tendon. As we pick up the deep digital flexor tendon, we find the distal intersesmoidian ligaments that originate from the proximal sesmoids. The straight sesmoidian ligament inserts on P2 the oblique sesmoidian ligaments insert on P1 The inner sesmoidian ligament, or the palmar ligament, runs between the two proximal sesmoid bones.